Today I'm going to show you how you can design websites like this, very simple yet amazing websites like this for CPA grip offers and you can actually use these offers as sweepstakes, okay? These are actually links directing you to the offer itself, okay? So all these are offers available in CPA grip. We have the PS5, we have GoPro 8, Roblox game card, PayPal gift card. They even have the iPhone 14, Galaxy S20. All these are available on CPA grip. And the reason why I've made them into sweepstakes is that people love doing sweepstakes. People love getting into competitions and having a chance to win offers like this, okay? So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can actually create these simple websites for CPA grip offers, okay? So just be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification so that you don't miss any of my videos. So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to open a Google Doc spreadsheet, okay? So you're going to head over to Google and then you're going to click on these dots over here, click on the apps. You're going to look for spreadsheets, okay? This one here, so open that. All right, now if you've never used spreadsheets before, you might have a blank page over here. I've been using it for years now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on create new spreadsheet. Now here is where we're going to enter our offers, okay? Our CPA grip offers, okay? It's going to look something like this. This is exactly the document that I used to create the website. And this is the information that's going to be pulled from that website, all right? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to enter this row over here, okay? So I'm just going to copy the entire row. Copy that, come back over here, and then just paste. Paste the row like that. Let me now spread them. Okay. And then now for our sweepstake offers is where we're going to have CPA grip offers. So now what we're going to do, we're going to head over to CPA grip. Okay. If you don't have an account with CPA grip, it's very easy to sign up. It's free as well. Once you have done that, you are going to head over to offer tools. Okay. Click on offer tools. Then you're going to click on my offers. All right. So by default, it's going to show you the offers for your country. These are the offers for my country. So I'm going to click on this drop down, okay? And then I'm going to look for United States offers, all right? So United States offers, and these are all United States offers. Now you can also do both United States and United Kingdom or any other country, okay? You can do multiple uh, offers. As you can see, if you come back over here, you can see the country availability. We have uh, available in the US, available in the UK, all right? You can also add available in other countries as well. So if we come back to CPA Grip and look at the offers on US, the United States offers, we can have a look at the gifts that they have. So what you basically want to do, you want to copy the gift. For example, you want to copy this gift over here. This is a gift, a gift card to Olive Garden. Okay. Uh, so you mainly want to look for gifts. Here we have a 1000 PayPal gift card. Here we have a brand new PS5. So this is where I got the gift card. So another thing that you can do, you can also search for gift cards over here or just gifts. All right, so as you can see, all these are gifts, right? Or rather gift cards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy a couple uh, a couple of gift cards over here to the spreadsheet. I'm going to open the first one over here. Okay, so this one says enter a gift card to Olive Garden. Okay, I'm going to copy this, come back to my spreadsheet, and then paste it on. So it's take offers, but I actually want to paste it on the description, okay? Because this is actually the description, okay? I'm just going to make this wider. All right, so enter a gift card to Olive Garden, and then now the sweepstake offer itself will be Olive Garden. Okay, I'm going to copy this name and then just paste it over here. All right, and then country availability, we're going to say it's available in the US. Okay, and then now we're going to place the link to the offer, which is this one over here. I'm going to copy that link, come back over here, and then paste the link. All right. So as you can see, it's just as simple as that. You find the offer that you want to promote. You get the description. The description basically is just enter a gift card to whatever uh, offer it is. And then if it's available in the US or the UK, you're going to place it here. Okay. So I'm going to repeat the process for at least 10 gift offers. All right. So I am done entering all my gift cards. As you can see, I've entered about 10 of them available in the US 5 and available in the UK 5 as well. All right. So once you're done with entering your gift cards and the links as well, you're going to click on share, okay? And then you're going to click on copy link, all right? So once you have copied your link, the next thing that you're going to do, you're going to head over to this website, okay? This is called spreadsimple.com. Here is where you're going to be able to design those beautiful, amazing websites. So once you're here, you're going to sign up, okay? You're going to first have to create an account. Just sign up with your email address. Once you've done that, it's going to take you to this page, okay? Here's where we're going to find their templates. Now they have different kinds of templates that you can use, amazing templates that 
that you can use so you don't have to actually create the website from scratch and the template that i used was this one over here okay this is the sushi restaurant but you can go ahead and use any now i'm going to use this one over here this is the real estate and if you want to view you can just click on view over here all right and this is how the website looks like okay or it's going to look like so now i'm going to just click on use template all right so once you're here this is now where you can design your website okay so this is how it looks like you have the banner over there and this is just basically the template now you're going to change everything over here okay all of this is going to change so what you're going to do you're going to click on change source sheet okay click on that and then here is where you're going to paste the link that you've just copied for your google spreadsheet okay remember this link over here all right so you're going to copy that and you're going to come back over here and then just paste that link over there and click on submit all right now i actually forgot to include anyone with the link i forgot to turn this option on make sure you turn this on so let's come back over here and then we're going to click on this drop down restricted and click on anyone with the link all right so now anyone with this link can actually access the spreadsheet so click on copy link all right come back to spread simple you know you can now highlight this click on paste and then click on submit all right so now you can scroll down and now you can see the changes okay now everything is gone which means we can now enter our fields okay so on your left hand side over here as you can see here you have titles so you're going to click on this drop down all right you have sweepstake offer description country availability so these are all the fields that we entered from our spreadsheets okay so we have sweepstake offer you're going to select that one here and as you can see they appear as we select our sweepstake offer okay now next we have uh the subtitle all right subtitle is just going to be the description and as you can see enter for a gift to olive garden get a one thousand uh, dollar paypal gift card to spend get a hundred dollar roblox gift card so these are the descriptions okay next we have the price so I'll click on this drop down all right so the price we are going to pl uh, we're going to include country availability okay so now we have our button over here this is now for the button we have contact agent as you can see so what you're going to do here is to change the color okay and to change our color we can just click on this okay you can select whatever color it is that you want okay i'm going to go with uh red and then now i'm going to change the label okay, it's not supposed to say label it's supposed to say something like maybe enter now or enter sweepstakes okay so i'll just say enter enter now and then once you're done you can scroll down here now make sure this one is selected on link okay by default it selects it for you but just make sure it's selected to link okay once you have done that you can have a look at your website so it's actually completely done as far as this section entering our button uh, our button links changing the colors changing the text and also changing our fields so now what we need to do is to change this banner over here okay so you want to place something relevant you want to uh, place an image like maybe a, a sweepstakes image or something like a gift box okay something very similar what i did over here okay so I actually got this image from uh, canva okay canva has tons of these free uh, gift box images so just to show you how i designed it okay originally the box was this way and then i included this text over here so you can get different kinds of gift box if you just come over here to uh, their elements okay you can type either sweepstakes or you can type gift box okay so gift box is what i used so maybe let me get rid of this first maybe you want this one here okay i'm going to just make this bigger something like that and then you can now play around with the text you can write something like you can win prizes enter to win enter sweepstakes offers you know things like that so what i'm going to do now is click on share click on download all right jpg and then download and then now we can come back to our website all right now we're going to head over to design and then from here you have your appearance now here you can change the appearance of you know your theme by default it's this uh, grayish color if you want dark okay you can select that and if you scroll down as you can see the theme has changed to a darker theme you can even customize it further if you want something else and maybe if you want a darker theme you can go ahead and also do that okay and then next you have uh, your header okay so your header is a text that's going to appear at the top over here so if i enable it Okay, as you can see you have some space over here which means if you have some text you can enter some text which can be permanently placed as the header and i'm just going to disable that and then next we have footer so footer is for what you want 
uh, to show below over here. So if you want to add some text, you can go ahead and add some text. Okay, I'm going to um, disable that as well. Next, we have the home page intro. Okay, so for the home page intro, you can select this to show home page intro. Okay, if you want to disable this, as you can see, the banner will disappear. Okay, but we don't want that. We want to enable our banner there. And then you have your page title. So this text over here is what is this text. Okay, same thing with this one over here. You can also remove this text. Okay, so I'm just going to remove them. All right. And then you scroll down further, you also have upload a logo. So if you want a logo or if you have a logo, you can actually upload it up over here. All right. Now we just have an image that we have designed, our banner image. So that is what we are going to upload. So I'm going to select this, click on upload. All right. Now for some reason, I couldn't get this image to uh, to download this one over here. I don't know why. I think it's because it's recognized it as a similar image. So it's not going to repeat a duplicate. But you do get the idea. Just come and design your image from here on Canva. Download it and upload it here on your website. Okay. Now you can actually rename your website from here. So let's just quickly rename our website. Uh, we can call this maybe a sweepstake, sweepstakes website. Uh, sweepstakes website. Okay. Now once you're done, you can click on publish. And then from here, you're also going to change the link to your website. So just highlight those numbers and you can call it anything. I'm just going to call mine uh, maybe gift shop 23. Okay, click on save. And once you're done, it's going to inform me that a website is published. And this is now the link of your website. And if you click on open from here, you'll be able to view your website. You can also copy the link from here and share your website. On different platforms you can promote it on social media if you want to use free traffic and if you want to use paid traffic which is the method that i recommend check out this video over here this is going to show you a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial on how to do paid traffic for your website okay so that's gonna do it for this video i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one